Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I think I have a little bit of a fun video planned for you guys. I haven't done any videos about controversial things I feel like, but I thought this would be really fun. I think I saw Jen Loves Reviews had done a swatch party where she swatched the new Tarte Icy Betch palette against the blood sugar, perhaps. I didn't actually watch it, I just saw the thumbnail and I wasn't really interested in watching it because I was gonna do my own. But I thought it would be really fun to do a comparison of the Tarte Icy Betch palette, which I just got in the mail, and also the Sydney Grace No Joke Bundle, which they actually released last year um, as a dupe to the Icy Bitch uh, palette that Tarte didn't end up releasing. So these three rows are their version of the Icy Bitch. And I actually already did this video on Instagram just so people that follow me on Instagram could see the comparisons. And I must say, even though I was, you know, I felt like I wasn't very biased and I did think Tarte did a good job. Spoiler alert, I feel like Sydney Grace is still better. There's 10 shades in the Tarte palette and there are 12 shades here. And I felt like these 12 shades bought more um, to my collection um, more than this. And in this one, I felt like there were some mattes and stuff that were pretty close together where I feel like it, they could have, you know, tweaked a little bit and made it a little bit more fun. First thing I wanna do is swatch both palettes on each arm and then show them to you side by side and then any close dupes or colors that just look similar, I'll swatch and show you guys and most of them are not that close. So um, lots of talking, not enough swatching. I must say this palette does swatch beautifully for the most part I felt like and yeah, I feel like Tarte's definitely stepped up their game, you know, um, they weren't always known for their gorgeous shadows. I feel like they have worked at it a little bit. So I'm gonna give them a little bit of credit because I feel like they deserve it even though they screwed up initially by just not doing the palette that they showed as their April Fool's joke, they decided to tweak it. Uh, but this is a nice price point. So I do have to say it's nice because not everyone can afford to drop like $40 on a palette. So I'm glad they gave people the option of having greens and blues in their collection at an affordable price point. Plus Tarte always has sales on their website, plus the Sephora sale is coming up. So, you know, you can really score this palette on a decent deal. The one big criticism other than the fact that they waited so long and they didn't just make the palette they showed that I've heard is how People really don't like the different pan sizes in this palette. And I do have to agree with that. I don't know why they decided to do like this very odd, you know, design of like the different pan sizes. Um, it is kind of, it can be off-putting for people that like symmetry. So I wish they hadn't done that. But other than that, is this the worst heart palette? I don't think so. Um, not at all. So yeah beautiful swatches. Like I said on Instagram, I feel like this matte shade and this matte shade are pretty similar. And then this shimmer blue and this shimmer blue, I feel like are very similar as well. So yeah, and then I feel like they definitely didn't do enough greens. So next, let me show you the Icy Bitch, which I feel like if Tarte had made this, like if they had actually made this, they would have probably had more sales <laughs> and so this is the first row in the Isa Bitch. I'm gonna put all the names of the shadows down in the corner because I don't want to pick each one up to tell you the name so bear with me. So here is the first row from Sydney Grace. So beautiful. I was wondering if maybe this first color from Sydney Grace was gonna be a dupe of this one but you'll see when I swatch them next to each other, this one pulls more gray. This one's definitely more of a powdery blue. And then I was also wondering about this shade being a dupe to these two teals, but I feel like these are more blue versus this one's more of like a periwinkle almost, in a sense. And then I was also gonna compare this shade JB to these shimmers and they're not close. This one's more bright 
So hopefully that is helpful to you guys. And then the next row from Sydney Grace is actually all green tones. So I think it's so beautiful because honestly you can like do a whole look with just a row and these are gorgeous greens. So and they swatch. These are just one swipe. <clears throat> so there's the greens. The only shade I thought might be similar is this shimmer shade, um, but when you look at them together, they're really not similar. So, um, yeah. What do you guys think so far? We got one more row for Sydney Grace, and some of the best shades are yet to come. So, let me swatch. Oh, this one is my favorite. One of my favorite Sydney Grace shades is called Megalodon. Oh, it's so beautiful, you guys. So there is the last row. I gotta get a little more. I'm swatching for my pinky, and my pinky's just not very strong. So there are all the shades. Now you see the last row for Sydney Grace. Again, um, there is a tealy blue here, and I just didn't think it was a dupe, really, for any of the colors and then I feel like the shade Megalodon is like that green in the Icy Betch that's missing and that they took out so that's disappointing and then I thought this shimmer shade from Sydney Grace kind of could be a dupe for the darker shimmer blues in Icy Betch so yeah there they are side by side yeah you guys let me know what you think I really feel like this one has more variety this one I feel like is good because with Tarte it can be so hit or miss I feel like this is definitely one of Tarte's best palettes I feel like if you don't shop indie like this is a brand you're gonna have access to um, but if you want something you know very unique where you can get a variety of colors and looks I think the no joke bundle might be for you or you could just be like me and just get both because you know, two is always better than one. <laughs> and then, um, I feel like I covered kind of like the dupes. I was going to swatch them separately, but I feel like you guys can get a good idea. And then I was playing with the Blue Blood, um, which is here. I just had a swatch party video go up with this. And I did see some shades that were similar, but I think my conclusion that I came to is, like everyone else has said, like, you know, Jeffree Star didn't invent blue eyeshadow. It's been around. I think it's finally coming into like that indie mainstream category. So I predict that we'll see, you know, more of the Too Faced and Sephora type brands getting on the bandwagon to do more blue. But I don't think it's like this new thing. So I don't think anyone in the beauty community needs to get in like a fight about it. <laughs> but yeah, I just thought, you know, you might find this video helpful. Um, so yeah, let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Are you guys team Icy Bitch? Are you guys team No Joke? Are you guys team Davina? Because I know Davina did a dupe of the Icy Bitch as well. Um, did you guys buy the Jeffree Star palette? I would love to talk to you guys down in the comments. So yeah, hit me up down there. Thank you so much for watching this video. I truly appreciate it and I will catch you in my next one soon. Bye guys.